Hello everyone, my name is Durgapsa Budwani and welcome to the new video on AWS Cloud Development Kit. In this video, we are going to see how we can create a Lambda, how we can test the Lambda offline using SAM and how we can deploy the Lambda and finally how we can deploy the Lambda and test locally using local stack. So this video is going to be very interesting. We are going to learn a lot of new things. So before jumping into the coding part, there are a few things which we need to install on the box, which include Node.js, CDK, local stack, SAM, as well as Docker. This local stack and SAM both are dependent on Docker. That's why the Docker is required. Once everything is installed on your box, then you can open a terminal. In the terminal, we are going to write a command, which is first create a directory. And here we're going to write Lambda deploy. And then in this directory, we are going to put the code which is required for deployment. We are going to navigate to the directory. And then we are going to run a command which is tdk initialize app and then we need to select the language in our case the language is typescript this entire installation is going to take some time so once this is done i'm going to continue the video now we can see that the app initialization has been successful we can quickly we can quickly see that what are the files it has been created in lambda.deploy folder it has created bin folder lib folder we have the cdk.json file, we have .packet.json file, and we also have this readme.md file. Now, in the readme.md file, we can see that it has created some useful command. cdk deploys for the deployment. cdk diff is to kind of get the compared version of what it has been deployed and what is the current version. And we have this cdk synthesize, which is going to use to create this cloud formation template. Now, we can quickly see that the version which we are going to use is for this AWS CDK lib library, which is 2.15 version. And what is happened in this version is, uh, we don't have to kind of explicitly install any sub packages. For example, in the previous version, if I need to do something related to the API gateway, I used to install library for API gateway. And if I need to kind of do something related to the S3, then I need to kind of install the specific library for S3. But in this version, we don't have to worry on that part most of us is taken care by this AWS CDK lib. Now, the starting point for any Node.js application is always the packet.json, but in case of CDK, the starting point is CDK.json. Here we have mentioned the app and we there is going to run few commands on that part. The starting file is lambda deploy.ts file. We can quickly come to bin folder and we can see that what is happened in lambda.deploy file. So for it is creating an app, this is nothing but a CDK app and then it is going to create a cloud formation stack and the name of stack is lambda deploy stack. This cloud formation stack is available in lib folder and we can quickly open the lib folder. We can see this lambda deploy stack and right now this stack is empty. We can quickly clean this up. Here is the example is given how we can deploy the SQS. We are going to work on a lot of things in future like how we can deal with this SQL event, how we can deal with this S3 event. But in this case, we are only going to focus on how we can run a simple Lambda. And for that, I'm quickly going to clean all, all of them. Now, what we need to do is we just need to introduce something which is AWS Lambda because we are going to deal with Lambda. And here I'm going to create new Lambda function because we are going to create the Lambda function. It is going to pass the scope. In our case, the scope will be this. And then we need to provide the unique ID. This ID will be used by cloud formation stack. So I'm going to put, and then we need to provide the properties. There are a few properties which is required. Uh, example will be runtime. And we need to mention runtime dot. So Lambda is going to support a lot of runtime. We can write our code in .NET, Go, Java, Node.js, Python. So here we are going to select the Node.js and the version we are going to target is 14 version. And then we need to provide the location of code. In our case, we are we need to write the code which is going to be executed by this Lambda. And for that, I'm going to create one SRC folder. And that's why I'm going to put Lambda dot code from asset. It will be SRC folder. Then another thing which is required for Lambda is the handler. That means what will be the starting file and what will be the function in that file which is going to be executed. So I'm going to create one file which will be index.js and in the index.js the name of function will be handler. And optionally we can also pass a function name. Here we can put the function name will be 
hello lambda so only this is configuration required by cdk framework and this cdk framework is going to convert the code into cloud formation then we are going to see how is this is going to do the next thing which we are need to do is we need to create a src folder for that i will open the terminal here i will write I will navigate to the root directory. I can write mkdir src, and we can see this src folder has been created. I can quickly add a file here. I mentioned index, though I need to put the file name will be index.js, and the function which we are going to execute is handler. So here I'm going to put constant handler equal to I'll say console.log hello lambda. And then I need to ex export this function. For exporting, I will write module dot export and it will be handler. So that's it. We required now. The next step will be we have written the CDK. We need to convert it to a cloud formation stack. For converting a cloud formation stack, we need to again open the terminal. And inside the terminal, we need to navigate to lambda deploy directory. Here we need to write a command which is CDK print. And this synthesis this is going to synthesize the CDK into a cloud formation stack. Once this is done, we can see here it has created CDK.output. And in the CDK.out, we can see that there is a one template which has been created. The name of template is lambda deploy stack template.json. Here we can see that hello lambda function has been created and the handler and the runtime. So this is what we required. We can quickly test this application and for testing this application we can run the command sam so first check the version of sam so the sam cl has already installed and then we can write sam local because this is the local function invoke and then we need to provide the template in the template part is cdk.out and lambda deploy template.json so if I quickly expand this thing here it is we can see that it has written hello lambda so this is a one way of testing if I need to deploy this lambda to AWS account then first I need to select the profile for that I can quickly export the profile so simply service this is profile which I already configured if you want to know how to configure the, your AWS console and AWS profile then I already created a video on that I will share the video link in the description now we can quickly run CDK deploy. Now what it's going to do is it's just going to take this cloud formation stack and then it is going to start the deployment. It is going to ask for confirmation and this deployment is going to take some time. So what I will do I can quickly open Chrome browser. Now I'm on my AWS management console and the account is simply serverless. I can quickly navigate to cloud formation stack and we can see that it has just created this lambda deploy stack which we have mentioned in our AWS CDK. Now we can quickly navigate back and quickly go to lambda and here we can see that hello lambda has been created. We can quickly come here, we can quickly click on test button and we can see that this hello lambda has been tested. So this is the second way of that we can kind of test the lambda so the third way is to kind of uh, deploy the lambda locally and uh, also test the lambda locally and this is possible with the help of local stack so what this local test stack does is it's just kind of uh, providing you the entire cloud capability on your machine and once you have installed the local stack let me quickly open the terminal and let me quickly divide the terminal we can start the local stack the local stack has been started now what is going to happen is the cdk will not understand how we can need to deploy it and for cdk to understand that we need to deploy it to the local stack there's a one more utility which is cdk local and how to install the cdk local is also provided in the description once you install the cdk local you can perform the same action which is possible by cdk for example you can do synthesis which is going to convert your cdk into cloud formation stack and there's another command which is cdk local deploy and this command will be useful to deploy your cdk setup into the local stack 
so since this is kind of something which has been started new and we don't have any information about what is going to be happen so when you are going to install cdk to any aws account or if you are changing any region in the cdk then you need to run another command which is bootstrap and this bootstrap will take care of kind of uh, copying all the binaries which is required by cdk framework uh, to the specific kind of local stack so we mostly get this kind of a uh, cdk is fail but no worry the binaries has been copied and once we are going to run the same command cdk local deploy is going to deploy everything yes now we can see that this cdk local has deployed this lambda to local stack but the next question is how we can test the lambda so if you want to test the lambda when you are kind of running on a server or when you are running on this your aws account then the command which we need to do is we need to run the command aws lambda invoke and then function name in our case it will hello lambda and then the output file now in case of cdk when we want to run locally then instead of aws we all again need to install one more thing which is aws local how to install this aws local the link will be provided in the description and this is how we can run this lambda now we can see that the lambda has been successful we got the return code 200 and you can see here that the lambda has been called and it has been successful now to monitor that what would happen to the lambda logs we can run another command which is aws local logs fail aws lambda hello lambda so what this command actually does it it is actually calling the cloud watch and it is taking the logs which has been run on this lambda so if i'm going to run this command it we can see that it has the code has been executed and it has printed the hello lambda as a part of console.log so that's it for this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button thank you